This Stocks on Call is brought to you by Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield and UHS. I'm here with Dr. Hossein Zarini with UHS Walk-In Center in Endicott to talk about emergency rooms versus walk-in centers. Doctor, when should someone choose a walk-in center? First, I'd like to say that uh, the walk-in center should not be used for chronic conditions like hypertension, diabetes, uh, anxiety, or depression. Uh, the walk-in center is great if your uh, providers is not available uh, to use for uh, urgent but not life-threatening condition, including uh, cough, congestion, ear pain, um, uh, urinary tract infection, uh, minor injuries uh, like a sprain, strain, uh, minor fractures, um, and lacerations. And when should someone use an emergency room? Uh, emergency room, if you have any serious condition, you should call 911 or go to the nearest emergency department uh, for chest pain um, symptoms, for stroke symptoms, uh, including um, uh, confusion, if you have head trauma um, or uh, severe bleeding, if there is any poisoning, severe burn, uh, if you, uh, for, for pregnancy, uh, you should uh, go if you have uh, um, uh, some kind of um, bleeding or fluid leakage. All right. And where are the UHS emergency rooms in our community? Uh, we have uh, Wilson, Wilson Hospital, uh, we have uh, uh, Binghamton General Hospital, Delaware Valley Hospital, and Shenango Memorial Hospital. And walk-in centers for UHS? Uh, we have three walk-in centers. Uh, vessel walking should not be uh, confused uh, with uh, emergency or hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, Endicott Walking and Shenango Bridge Office. Thank you, Dr. Hossein Zarini with UHS. For more information, go to our website, WBNG.com. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, call 584-7362, 584-7-DOC.